the next problem. <laughs> well, I think all Marines are the worst. Hello, worst. Greetings from Endeavor. You know, I said that 75 times coming around the moon. Every time the Earth came over the horizon, I said back to Mission Control, Hello, Earth. Greetings from Endeavor. And I said it in 20 different languages. Because we were trying to make a point back then that we're all humans on this planet that we call Earth. And uh, space flight is uh, something for everybody. Uh, I, I, grew up, I grew up on a small farm in Michigan. And I truly believe I lived the American dream. <laughs> How do you go from being a farmer on a 10 acre farm in Michigan to going to the moon? Pretty incredible, I think. It takes a lot of persistence, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of training. <laughs> and the training only begins when you get uh, down to Houston. Now, I'm going to go off a little bit here. I, I'm not going to talk in a uh, sort of traditional about, uh, uh, about thrust and weight and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to read you some stuff that I wrote many years ago. Training is endless. It takes all my days. Flying and trying to work through the haze. Meetings and mock-ups, reports and phone calls. Instructors go wild and climb up the walls. You never will make it, the clock seems to say. What I did wrong last week, I got right today. Simulators humming, practice the burn. Try staying cool when it lasts it's your turn. Hum down the chamber, let's see how he does. In the vacuum of Houston, my head is a buzz. 700 switches, the joke is on me. I've studied the systems, they're off 23. Simulated malfunction, to us it looks real. They're driving us crazy, inventing the wheel. Crashed on the moon for the 10th time today. We must do it right for the program to pay. Houston is calling in lost fuel cell three, switch to the other and you'll be home free. The training is endless. It takes all your days, then comes the flight, and you find it all pays. We went through all that training for our flight, three years of specific training just for a flight. And that's on top of all the training that we did, all of us, before we got to the, to the space program to begin with. So training was so important to us. But then the morning comes for launch. You get all dressed up and you go through the things you got to do and you get in the van and you go out to the launch pad and you get ready to launch. Here's what it's like. Blast off. Fast off. Sky clear. Launch here. Speed up. Straight up. Lights flash. Controls thrash. Vibrations. Palpitations. A fragile link just here to think this wasn't intended becoming extended. Stop. Stop. Stages drop, on we soar, engines roar, smoother ride, vacuum outside, horizon is in view, launch phases through, and that's kind of what you go through, and here's another one, it's nerves, the task is here now, stay cool, they won't know, and then it will be too late, I know I can do it, a vibration, a roar, Motion, shaking, rattling, we lift straight up. Lights flash, pale moves, floating in nothingness. Then softly, softly, the motion begins again. Push up to switch. Suddenly, light everywhere. Slowly, softly, as in a dream. Streaking down, trying to return too fast. Flashes again, only more gentle. Relief, everything works. Is it possible? Man is a fragile thing. Didn't we realize that? Faster, faster, but only in numbers. There's no speed, no motion. Where are we? This is a mistake. Am I the only one who cares? Upside down, trying to fall off the edge of the earth? We got to go on, compelled by God knows what, to find answers and rocks. 
and then nothing. Lights stop, hearts start, in one monstrous moment, we are in orbit. Once we get into orbit, on my flight we went around the world one and a half times, at 90 miles, which is a little low for a long-term space flight, so we had to do all of our checks quickly and get ready to go to the moon. Uh, one and a half revolutions over Hawaii, we fired up our engine again, and we went to the moon. It took us three and a half days to get there, and we went into a 60-mile orbit around the moon, and here's kind of what it's like. This one is 240,000 miles from home. Sliding silvery wings through day-night light, barely turning, edging onto new worlds, tranquility on the surface, anxiety within. Conquering the mountain of space is not for the weak-hearted. Spinning earth in view, old plate port, calls forth the question, why climb this hill? Because it's there is not enough. Inexorable yet comprehensible like the tick of a clock, study the history in rocks, and we learn more about, until I turn the page, our whole <laughs> planet, and all the others. One thing becomes clear when floating 240,000 miles from home. God did it all. So we spent six days at the moon. And I came around the moon For, for 60, 150 revolutions, 75 revolutions, basically, uh, by myself. And every time I come around, I saw the Earth. And you see the planet, and it's something special. It's where we live. We don't see any other place where we can live, but the Earth is where we live. Hello, Earth. I see you shining through the glaze of space, floating in the oil-sick void that quilt around your face. Hello, Earth. It's clear you're hiding worldly problems from my view. Could it be you are forgetting I am worldly, too? Hello, Earth. Please stop pretending. You are sinless, new and pure. The scars that you are hiding only hide your allure. Hello, Earth. I wish you'd answer, and in answering, take stock. It's clear you are a spaceship and must do with what you've got. Hello Earth, your life is finite. Does the answer lie out here? If we don't resolve our problems, life on Earth may be too dear. Hello Earth, greetings from Endeavor. And that is thanks to a very, very good friend of mine, Baruch el -Baz, who as an Egyptian was my geology instructor and um, a wonderful person, and he is the one who translated all Earth's greetings from Endeavor into 20 languages for me to say. So we leave lunar orbit, and we're on our way back home, and I do a spacewalk, and that is to collect some film canisters that we had inside, uh, out in the uh, service module, uh, in two large cameras. And a spacewalk is kind of a unique thing. Gives you a chance to disconnect from everything. Gives you a chance to be outside by yourself. Here's what I thought it was like. A spacewalk is like being let out at night for a swim by Moby Dick. <laughs> you have to think about that a little bit. That's kind of like it, because I'm floating along next to this huge white machine. It was kind of like that. Umbilical, breaking free, being born, growing up, getting wise, being worldly, no surprise. Learning to fly, getting wings, rise above those worldly things. Something special comes along. Go to moon, as in the song. Umbilical, CVA, out the hatch in light of day. Far away, Mother Earth floats along, watching birth. Cycle over, doing fine. I was born at 39.
Um, from there, and, I, and my, my talk probably won't take a lot of time, but whoop, we gotta go back. Oh, poor one. What's spaceflight all about? It's hard to describe. I did my best, and you know what I love about poetry? I have a musical background. I was going to be a musician before I was uh, kind of uh, pushed into going to the military academy because of family finances. So I had to give up my musical career. But I think that came back to me a little bit. I don't play anything anymore, but uh, I think music is, uh, is a bedrock for everything. And I think poetry is kind of in there along with music. So what is space flight all about? Let me try and draw a picture for you. In the distance, barely seen, the thin horizon nice between the ocean and the sky. I know that I could reach it if I had wings to fly. Then gazing upwards far away, the stars and planets dance and play in an infinite ocean of space. Like sirens of old, they beckon me to join in their embrace. Close at hand, the pelicans pass as wind whispers softly through the grass, and waves gently stride upon the beach. The world is calm and peaceful, no further than my reach. How can I leave this lovely place to venture forth in outer space? Consider the dangers I might find exploring Ganymede, another question in my mind. While I love the scene around, my mind imagines without bound why I feel the call to roam. Could it be a lunar flight is one small step towards home. So with that, uh, I've got, I'm going to quote one more, which uh, I wasn't sure I wanted to do, but uh, we always try to depict the kind of people that would go to the moon and come back and uh, uh, this was uh, uh, an attempt to kind of uh, explain it. It's called What Are Heroes? What are heroes? Bits of steel and bronze and silver you can feel. With steady eye, chiseled chin, iron muscle, leather skin. Their marvels are for all to see. They step where others dare not be. To save us all from anarchy or monarchy or democracy. Do not question their master plan or try to psych the metal man because he has a hollow brain and tarnishes quickly in the rain. What are explorers? Men who are bold, who strive and struggle in the cold to find a place not yet discovered, return to treasures not yet recovered. To place their name upon a feature or assign it to some newfound creature. The world is always far away in the mind of this marvelous man of clay. Because he's not involved, you see, in the problems of humanity. And so he shuns society while craving to go to ride. What are pilots? Men of wings, who soar in space and do the things that earthbound mortals would not try because they think God's in the sky. So pilots do their daring feats in the air and under the sheets as their reward for taking flight. These men of fearless flying skill have no conscience, but the thrill of conquest burns them deep, regardless of those at home who weep. What are astronauts? What am I? Hero, pilot, explorer, in love with myself and with my work? Unheeding the many dangers that lurk in outer space or here on Earth, I accept all as do my birth. Magnificent performance on lunar surface belies my need of an earth earthly purpose. Accepting gifts is my just reward, taking great money to be on the board. I do my job way out in space, but God forgive the friends erase. Thank you very much, folks.